Alrighty, welcome back. Birthday's over. Car's not done. I uh, had a little birthday headache this morning. I still got one a little tiny bit, but we're going to work through it like we always do. Uh, this is a 35 Ford uh, two-door that was been sitting here for quite a while. I was going to do something with it. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday. I decided that was my excuse. That was just an excuse to cut the roof off this thing. That's what I've been doing. I've been wanting to cut the roof off. It's just something to do. I've never cut a 35 Ford before, and I want it more or less to see if I could cut it without cutting it apart. And what I mean by cutting it apart is by cutting the roof in half and, and doing it the the conventional way uh, the conventional ways you know cut some out of the, the window and then cut some out of the back window and make them smaller and then try to put it all back together well I did not do that I cut the roof off in the back and I cut the cow where the window sat in the front we laid the window back we stretched it here, and the reason I'm saying we stretched it here because I cut it and it's opened up now. So we stretched it. We've laid the window down. What, what the when the roof pulled back, it pulled the window down. It was what I was hoping. It went well. It went very good. And come look at this. This is what I'm very happy with. Um, I was always thinking about trying to be 36 Ford, and uh, this is what I, what I've come up with. I like how it fits here and how we got that line to come back together. And this piece in here, right on that body line, we'll be able to grind that weld off where that body line is and make that look really nice. Uh, that's how we did that. We did it on the other side. We bring it down on the inside and then we welded it. We made this line come right. What happened here on the back? What happened here on this line? We made this, we made this line up. This was wider than this when we bring it down. So what I did is we lined this up and then I just cut a little bit off this to make the line go around like that. Uh, basically, that's what I've done there, and it turned out super duper, as far as I'm concerned. But right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put start putting all the stuff back together on it. I'm gonna start putting the post back in it, put the back window back in it, and that sort of stuff. Uh, it was Aiden's last day yesterday. I'm gonna miss him because he he did well. Uh, but you know what? I've I've been doing it from by myself for a long time, and uh, I'm back at it. So here we go. I'm going to put the back window in first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a look at it for a second. I know that all the edges have to be cleaned up. I'm going to stick it in there for you. I'll stick it in the hole. Let's do this. Let's get this thing tacked together. And then, and then I get back on the truck. I'll start filling it out and uh, make it look like something. No. Try that. That's basically how I want the back window in there. We did not cut the back window. The back window is the original size. We did drop the roof. Uh, we put. I didn't even measure it actually. I just put three rows of tape on it and went that way. That's what I'm saying. It's about a six inch chop. It is six inch chop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a marker, mark that back window, cut a little bit off. Wasn't ready there, was I? Didn't have my marker in my pocket. We're gonna come over here and knock the window off a little bit. Aiden did such a beautiful job cutting that off with the with the plasma cutter, and then I started sawing on it. You can see the difference. <laughs> Jolene let me know that. Well, as he was cutting it, I was sawing it and shaking the car. I didn't even realize. And, and Aiden was the kind of guy that wouldn't say anything. But uh, it worked out. Let's take this off. Get this cleaned up. Clean up around that hole. We'll put this window in. And I'm not going to... What can I say? Um, let's face it. I'm going to put it together as fast as I can. There's probably some things I wouldn't do. Man, yeah, I say I wouldn't do. It's just... Let's face it. The car's kind of shook a little bit there and I'm just going to get it tacked back together. If there's something that isn't right, it's okay. Run a piece of tape across that. I'm gonna leave a little bit. I'm leave a little bit. 
Good. We got a big dent going on here. Looks like you had some buckshot hit, hit it. Um, I'm gonna cut that off, then I'll try to pound that out, and we'll put it in. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia, and Jolene's looking amazing. Got her Daisy Dukes on in the halter top. Looks amazing. Got her Dewalt glasses on. tapped out. Um, I'm just going to use the floor. And I'll use my my hands. And that's just to weld it in. That's all. Just to get it welded in. That piece was in there too far. See if we can get her together. Um, it was, I think it was an hour. We were an hour and a half yesterday, baby. Hour and, hour and 45 cutting this thing. That's not too bad. I've never cut one before. I was kind of, uh, what can I say? I was, what? Never cut one before, so it was a new experience trying to do this. And this was what I was wanting to cut and see if I could make it look the way it was. And another thing too, I did, like I said, I did not want to cut it in half. I just wanted to see if I could chop the roof without cutting it in half at any at anywheres. And I have done that. I don't know if it's ever been done, but I did it. sitting in there right I guess I don't think I'm gonna cut the top piece off we'll see I'm gonna put a c-clamp on that see what that goes like Me up. 
Just gonna stand back and take a look at it. See if it looks right. Pretty well. Pretty well gutter, I would say. Right on. tack it in there it looks good to me you know fairly good and that's basically what you got to do just stand back and take a look at it and basically what I'm doing is looking for the distance here in the corner if it looks the same or not and uh, it looks pretty good so I'm gonna get the welder dragged out we'll stick the we'll stick the we'll stick the back window in I think what I'm gonna do is go around the other way that done Open the gas it's nice to have a couple people when you're chopping a car uh, Aiden was here yesterday and John was here yesterday a friend of mine and uh, they really helped out just holding things pulling things basically helping and uh, it's what I needed it's what we needed to get it cut off and put back on so I need a helmet I don't need a helmet for now Tack this in here. I want to just stand back and see if that looks straight. Looks I'm just gonna go in the front and see. It means something when you try to get the window straight. You really have to look all right, baby. I think it looks straight. I guess what I'll do is I'll tack a corner. Hmm. 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 Just wonder where I want to tack it. That's all. See that? That changed that a little bit. I can still move it. I got one corner tacked. I can still move it. Hmm. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just going to tack it for now. And if it doesn't satisfy me, you know what we do. We untack it. That's about the end of it. Attack it there. Attack it there. Do, do, do. That can be pushed out and tacked there. I'm going to leave that just like that. That window's tacked in there. Does not hurt a, hurt a thing. And I can just come up here and keep cutting that and zip cutting that and wall that together. Yes, I can. But the back window's in. Let's try a side piece now. What I have to do is try to make the windows fit. I got this area here. I've got all my pieces down back here. Never throw away anything. Never throw away anything that you're going to be using. That's for sure. Or anything off the car. Uh, like I said, we got a dumpster for some metal. And uh, I threw the 36 Ford doors out. The back doors are off that. I cut them up a little bit. But I had to go back to the junk pile and get them because I need them. Excuse me, sweetheart. What I'm going to do here is uh, this piece. How does this go? That go there. Go on the other side. Joey wants to fix them. Oh, sorry about that, sweetheart. Did I get you? Did I cut you? No. Just hold that. 
fixing the mic. I hope there's good sound. Hope so. So we're gonna stick this in here. That's the piece we want. On the on this on this uh, you know cutting a roof and stuff, where I did the back roof there, I just used three used three three strips of tape, which means we did a six inch cut. And with this sort of stuff, I'm not going to use a measuring tape either. I'm just going to put it up here and trace it. The patterns here, the, the, the length is right there. It's basically all right here for me. I just have to follow the directions. And I see that it's marked across. I'm going to cut that off. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to cut that off. See what happens. Well, I know what's going to happen. It's going to get cut off. grinder sitting on here basically where I cut it off and now I'm just going to cut some off so it fits underneath there just kind of cut some of that off just angle that off Tack it on. Flap wheeled off a little bit.
tack this on a bit better. Chop it off a little bit more, I guess. A bit foggy this morning. Oh, cut some off the back. Ah, just a little bit more. There's an in inside construction there I want to weld it to. I just don't want to chop it off. I want to tack on this piece a little bit better. I can tack it over right here. right distance for that. It's holding that in place. Just have to make sure that's straight up and down. That's what I'm looking for. See the straight up and down. Cool. Got to cut this off. this off. This is not right. visual when you get this thing when I get it chopped it'll be a nice visual to look at I'll set it aside go back to work on the truck start spreading some mud not sure if that's supposed to be in flush with that it might be but that's in there good so that's where that's supposed to be we'll see we'll see and if it's, if it's not in the right place or anything's wrong, just cut it off. Right. piece over here on the door.
going to be a little harder to get than I think. <laughs> They're going to go quick, just like candy. I want that piece right here. I'm going to try to make it fit in there. Hope so. Or might be easier if I just we'll see. Just looking at it, this piece here is still a good piece. It's got this round in it. I need the round in the back, so I might use it. A little bit wobbly from last night still. Huh? Indulged maybe a little too much. And uh, that's not good for the next day. Is it, baby? Nope, it's not. Not working in the ideal conditions, am I? Huh? Not by this hoist. Alrighty. There's the piece I need. Now I can see it better. Rip this out. My scripts. Stay, I think. He wants to stay. Cut it.
right? I gotta run. scripts hmm. window winders for me still working all right I want this corner how much do I want and how much do I have to cut out to get it that's what I'm thinking like after cutting that piece I went at it the wrong way I did I did show you how I'm gonna do it this time I'm telling you like it's trying getting the cords around For the grinder disc, we're going to use them up.
tack it on so it looks in the right place. We can always mess with it after. Uh, got that right, have I? Just want to look at that. Watch your step going backwards, baby. Just want to look at that again. I've got I've got to put a piece up in there, obviously. That's just an L goes in and straight up, or just cap it off, actually. I need the bottom. Off. I got it right there. I can zip cut that off and butt weld that together on the back, but I just want to get it on there. Just want to get it on here. It's good. So I want to step back and take a look at that. Just before I carry on any further, that's all. I'll cut that off back here and butt weld that together, but I just want to leave that there for now because it shows what's going on. Uh, I want to get this door post going. My marker cover, where did I put my... I thought it fell there somewhere. Underneath the car? Cool, thank you. All right, let's go for the... This piece goes here. I can make that one fit a little better, I think. Marker in my pocket, I can't get gloves and get it out. That's going to be chewed off, obviously. Let that set down in there, right? I'm going to chew that off. <laughs> Zip cut. Ah! Get going, trying to fast, get going as fast as you can. Sometimes it slows you up. <laughs> uh.
to take a little bit out of this right here so I can shove it back just a little bit further. in there see what it looks like <laughs> I'm off balance this morning I'm off balance I'm gonna just stick it in like that sure. need a ground Just knock it on a little better. I don't know if I should go straight or go down the way. Whatever. Leave it there like that for now so I can check it out. If I don't like it, if I like it, keep it there. If I don't like it, whatever, it's not bad. Let's go for this piece inside the door right here. Yeah, what's that? Got to fix my mic. No worries. Thank you. So we're back at this. We know that this cut here fits down the bottom. I know that for sure. Um, but what it is is too high. And I have to figure out how much I'm going to take out. So I'm going to take it out of the straight area. We never want to take it out of here. I'm going to take it out of the straight area down here somewhere. And then I'll cut it, keep cutting it till the door goes down and fits it. Uh, I'm going to keep the top on as far as probably, we'll see what happens. We'll get, gotta get it cut off first and uh, go from there. Zip cut.
clean that little bit of weld off. Sticking it right here. Want to fix it for that one you get another spot just for good luck cool turn that off let's cut our piece let's get this piece measured out what I'm going to do for that. That's going to be hard to trace, so I'm going to, I am going to get a tape measure. I am going to get a tape measure. I'm going to say... Five and five eighths. Five and five eighths. Just a puzzle. That's basically what it is. Just a puzzle, and you gotta, you gotta figure it out. And it's, it's not a bad thing.
here somewhere, I'm thinking. up there that time I I did and uh, the guess was this piece here I cut it in the center because it's not it's going down there a little bit and I don't want to trusty marker and cut some more off that. Smooth that up a little bit. We'll lock it on there. Still tacked together here. Good. 
we got some gap. Not sure we want a little more gap up top or not. No, it's good. This piece. Putting the window in it, trying to make sure the window fits. You know, got to do that. Got to make sure the window fits. And, and what, I, what I am going to say is I'm off a little bit here in the front. I'm just going to leave it there right now, actually. Why not? I haven't heard a thing. I need to get this door running better. Yeah, it's good. I might have to bring that up just to... That's actually quite nice. I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's try to get this piece in here. Right, if I try to get that... Probably could have left that longer, couldn't I? Yeah, probably. Probably. I'm gonna cut that out of there. Da, 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 da. Nope, not gonna work yet. I gotta stand back and take a look at this.
lines up again. for it. Trying to do this as quick as I can. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm not sure if I could have left that piece on there or not, but I didn't. I didn't. and see what's going on. I gotta... Get this piece going. I put that marker. 
at her, see what I can do to make her fit. haggled up quite heavy on the front here where I haggled it off. A pair of pliers straighten her out. Got the mark on the wrong end, sucking on the in an odd hole again, aren't I? Huh? Working in an odd hole again. That's what I like to do for some reason. Working in an odd hole. moldings when I started it, but I started it so quick that I didn't get rid of the garnish moldings, and, and I should have. Probably should have kept them, but...
That's going to have to be filled in with a piece, obviously. I'm going to have to make a piece. That's not following that line, so that's going to have to be cut up higher, cut down further. Cut that off a little bit more. So much fun, is it? Huh? That isn't so much fun, is it? Not at all. trouble getting in there but if it was easy everybody be doing it it's more off the front there take this out Tack it on, I can't get to make anything to start with. Start. That's a start. And not a real good one. What's that? We're at one twenty. Whoop! Let's see if I can get this door done. Get this side, you know, this door on. I know there's lots left to do, but I'll get it. to go in the inside and cut that.
paper pattern, close that off, put a piece in there. I'm gonna have to do that. Get this piece going here. Gotta get this done. See if we can get that piece. Where's that at? Top of the door. See where I put that piece at? Bit, bit. There, there, there. That's all I got left. tricky. Stand back and take a look at that thing. That's what we gotta have. That's what we gotta have. Let's stick this on here. And I'll straighten that. It has to be cut back some. Thanks, baby. Ooh, hold on the marker, Chetty. Gonna go 
for it. Okay, it does. Not a very good cut at all. Get, get. <laughs> Let's try it again. I think I got another piece here. Want to hold it for me while well, I play with it. That's going to have to be cut off, obviously. there for a minute it's a rough go to get that going right but I think I've got it going right now uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put a piece in the door here 
that's going to have to make a piece there that's just that's no problem just come up straight and make a piece to fit that coat hanger weld it grind it make it look nice this here piece i'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to take a piece of probably a piece of ramrod weld the piece of ramrod here and go with the shape of the door weld it up in here and then i'll make a new piece that lays on top that's probably what i'll do when the camera goes down it's probably what i'll do you give me a hat or shirt today baby um, with computers, we're just kind of not going to give a hat away shirt today because of the fact of everything else. It's a long video and we got to get it put on. But basically, if you stand back, you can get what I'm doing and what it's going to look like. So I'll play with it a little bit more and then uh, I can show you what's going on in tomorrow's video. But uh, we'll see what happens, how far I get on this. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm a little shaky today after a birthday, but we got her done. Thanks everybody for all the comments and all the, you know, the birthday wishes. I want to thank everybody for that. I'm not a big guy for, you know, wishing uh, happy birthday. The only reason because is I don't use the computer or whatever. Um, it's just another day. And uh, I want to thank everybody for all the comments and stuff and having fun. See you later.